Hey guys, welcome to your uh, bonus soulmate reading for uh, Capricorn. This is going to be for your May, rest of your May 2024. You can apply this to any of your placements. Uh, uh, no, so sorry, your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. So uh, we are going to take a look and see how your soulmate journey is going with your soulmate. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Apply this to your own unique situations, okay? Um, you may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, uh, Capricorn people. Not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Uh, if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, tell me about Capricorn. What is going on with Capricorn? Capricorn in uh, love. How is their soulmate journey going with their soulmate for the rest of their May 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Capricorn. Ace of Pentacles and the Justice card. Ace of Pentacles, Justice, Libra energy. With the full Aries energy and the Four of Swords. And the World card and the Nine of Wands here. Okay. Seems like, you know, with your soulmate here, I feel like things ended with this person here. And I feel like you moved on towards a new beginning yourself here. And you feel like you're trying to pick up the pieces. Basically heal from this trauma that you've been through with this person. Yeah, I feel like this person left you alone. Left you out in the cold. This person wasn't really giving you any attention. This person kept secrets from you. This person emotionally was not invested. Or this person was a bit of an empty shell here. Uh, Queen of Wands. Yeah, I feel like this connection. I feel like some here just dropped someone like a hot potato. And I feel like somebody had no choice but to move on. You know, and that's what you have to do. You know, you just have to move on. Especially if somebody here is not giving you the answers that you're looking for here. Or any sort of resolve. Or any sort of, like, closure here. When that happens, you have to find that closure on your own here. And I feel like you're trying to find that closure on your own here, Capricorn, at this time. Okay? So, yeah, I do feel like there was, there was this painful situation that ended here. I do feel like some of you guys have lost a part of yourself in this relationship because I feel like you gave a lot and you feel like you sacrificed yourself to be with this person or that you sacrificed who you are to be with this person and I feel like you guys could be in this energy of finding yourself at this time here. Yeah, I feel like this relationship or that this soulmate connection was incredibly challenging here, Capricorn. What else do we have for Capricorn? What else does Capricorn need to know? Look out for work on when it comes to the soulmate journey for the rest of the May 2024. Sun, moon, rising, moon signs for Capricorn. For Capricorn. We have the Five of Swords and the Page of Wands. Five of Swords and the Page of Wands here. Aries, little Sagittarius energy. We have the Two of Pentacles here and the Devil, Capricorn energy. And then the Three of Pentacles here and the Ace of Cups. You know, I do feel like they're going to try and come back around. Yeah, I do feel like, you know, they're going to try and manipulate their way back into your life here. And I feel like some of you guys might even fall for it here because I feel like you guys are trauma bonded to this individual. Okay, uh, could be dealing with another Capricorn here. Tell me about the Five of Swords here. Five of Swords. Five of Swords and the Three of Cups. Yeah, someone here is looking to reconnect with you here, Capricorn. The Page of Wands and the Six of Swords. They're unable to move on from you. I do feel like this person has a tendency to have a temper here. You know, this person has tantrums, okay? Uh, if this person doesn't get what they want, this person could lose their shits here. You know, so I feel like this... 
situation's really volatile, and I feel like, you know, this person could be very, very embarrassing, where I feel like in public, they could be losing their shits here, you know? Uh, yeah, I, I could see why this was, like, really painful. I could see why, you know, this situation was difficult here. I do feel like some of you guys could have been trying to rescue this person here, too. You know, teach this person from right from wrong. You know, trying to coach this individual. And you're realizing that this is not res your responsibility where, you know, this person could have should have gotten this memo when they were, like, you know, five years old. And you're teaching, like, maybe a 30-year-old, a 40-year-old, a 50-year-old, or a 60-year-old on how to properly behave here, behave, behave here, right? So the two of pentacles here, nine of pentacles. Seems like you're freeing yourself from the situation here. And yeah, you're definitely leaving this person behind. You know, I do feel like there's a sense of codependency here with this person. You're trying to break the trauma bond and the codependency here. And I feel like you guys never really dealt with codependency until you guys met this person. And keep in mind, you know, sometimes codependency is deeply embedded into a trauma that we never dealt with. That we never healed from okay so it could be that someone here has mommy or daddy issues here you, you, you know and i feel like this is probably someone's first or second relationship you, you know so i feel like those are the hardest right the uh, two of pentacles here the two of pentacles that's not the two of pentacles i'm so sorry the three of pentacles and the empress here libra taurus here all the suffering all the pain that you've gone through you know, I feel like it's leading you towards, uh, you know, a spiritual ascension, enlightenment here, okay? So, you know, this could also be an indication that, you know, uh, 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 Capricorn, that you realize your worth, that you realize that you deserve what you're looking for here. Uh, you know, not someone here who, you know, shows you trashy behavior, someone who manipulates and lies here, okay? I do feel like this person always gave you, gave you false hope here. You know, it's kind of like they gave you that glimmer of hope and then out of nowhere, they took it away, you know? So I feel like whatever this person has promised you, whatever they have shown you here, this person never, you know, executed, materialized it, okay? This person was, was just all talk and no show and no go here. Five of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. And one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like, you know, this person loves the drama here. It makes this person feels important. You know, it kind of like soothes their ego here and inflates their ego. So one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you're 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 kind of like stopping the madness here, basically. You know, you're putting a stop to it here. And I feel like a lot of you guys are reconnecting with yourself, reconnecting with your happiness here. Okay. So Capricorn, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.